Our topic today is going to be about Ha Rakhun. Yes, we are going to talk about Rakhun. We are going to watch a video. We are going to know interesting information about this funny animal. And we are going to have a reading topic regarding the Rakhun. Let me start with the video. I want you to look here. Oh, it's time for some more amazing animals. Number 160, the amazing raccoon. This frosty little mammal is extremely adaptable. Raccoon. Number one, he said it's a mammal. Is it a bird or mammal? Mammal. Mammal, mammal means an animal that gives birth. It's an animal that gives birth. It's not laying eggs and it can't fly. For example, the dog is a mammal. Got the point? The, the tiger is a mammal. The cat is a mammal. So the first information we know about the raccoon is it's a... The raccoon is a mammal. It's a mammal. mammal. Great job. So it's a... Huh? Mammal. Great job. The raccoon is a mammal. So, who can tell me where does it live? Can we find it in Egypt? No. No. The raccoon lives in North America. Where does it live? America. North America. The raccoon is an animal that lives in North America. America. Great job. Okay. Coons are very good at living amongst us, but they also live wild throughout North and Central America. So where does it live? North America. America. Great job. I'm going to say it lives in North America. Ida, Islamis, why does you write North capital, America capital? Because it's a proper noun. It's a name of a place or name of a country. When I am talking about names, it should be capital letter. Yes. Don't write Miss Lamis capital, small letter. So we are going to write Lamis capital L, safe capital S, mall of Egypt capital M, capital O, capital E, because it's a proper noun, names. So names are always ha, capital. Names are always capital. Great job. Number two. After we know that it lives in North America. Uh, they are a size of a large cat. So what is the size of the raccoon? Large cat. Large cat. So they are they are in the size of large cats. They are in the size of large cats. Great job. So they are in the size of the large cat and they are related to the bird's group. So they are related to the bird's group, like the bird, the panda, and so on. It's the same category or the same group. Related to bears. And you can't bear it when I steal your food. Uh, look, what is the raccoon doing now? Uh, the raccoon is stealing food. Yes, I want you to show the video. The raccoon is stealing the food. Yes, and I said that he's going to eat the uh, trash. Yes, from the trash. Or the raccoon can eat rubbish. The raccoon eats rubbish or from the trash. Great job. <laughs> Baby raccoons don't leave the den for the first few months. Baby raccoon lives in a den. Den? What is a den? Look. Babies live in a den. I'm going to show you the den. Look here. That's it. What is this? Den. den. What is this? Den. den. The den is the place where the lion is hiding. This place is called a den. den. Like a cave. So like a hideout. A den where a den is a place where raccoons are born and they are in the den until they are fully grown, then they go out. But in the beginning, Marcelino, 
The raccoons are in the bin. What is this? Bin. Bin. Great job. Can you see this? They are born, huh? Blind and deaf. Yes. Raccoons are born blind and deaf. Yes. What does it mean? When they are babies, they are blind. Blind means they can't see. See. And deaf means they can't yes. hear. Yes. Great job. Again, so raccoons are blind and deaf. Babies born. Babies are born, huh? Yosef, they are born what? Blind and deaf. Okay, guys, I want you to wake up. I know that we are in the early morning. Just wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Okay? Thank you. So, they are born blind and deaf. It means they can't see and they can't hear. hear. Great job. Eight weeks later, it's time to leave. Mom, we leave for the picnic. And I've got ducks to dining at five. Raccoons are incredibly agile. I've got this. Okay, I haven't got this. <laughs> oh, most of the time. They have amazing paws. They have amazing paws. What are the paws? The animal's feet. They have amazing paws. Their feet can climb trees. So they have amazing poles to climb the trees. trees. Again, the, what are they called? Pole. What are they called? Pole. Animals have poles. Islamists have poles or hands? Hands. Hands and legs or hands and feet. But the raccoon, Yusuf, have, ha, raccoons have poles. Raccoons have Poles. poles. Great job. And their poles are very sensitive. Sensitive means it can feel anything. And they also use their poles in order to climb trees. Great job. So raccoons can climb trees. They can grab the garbage can in order to eat the rubbish inside. You got the point? They can steal and snatch food. And eat it like this using the poles. You got the point? Let's continue. Also have highly sensitive touch receptors. Yes, we've got a good handle on things. <laughs> Raccoons are opportunistic omnivores. Hey, quit trash talking me. What can they eat? Use it. What can they eat? <coughs> Waste. 
Raccoons communicate by marking their territory with their poop. Gross! Not on the roof! But the main aim is to stuff yourself silly before the winter hits. Oh, how did that happen? And the restaurant is open! Bye bye! They need the food to build up body fat to make it through the winter. Okay, so let's read our topic about the raccoon. Huh? Who's going to read? Marcelino? I want you to start reading. I Night, GH silent. I walk by night. In darkness. Guys, what does it mean the word darkness? We are in darkness. What is this? Darkness. And now, what is this? Darkness. This, this is darkness? No. Ah, what is this? Light. So what is the antonym of the word light? Darkness. And now, light. You got the point? So raccoon, walk by night in darkness. The raccoon walk by night in darkness when everyone is sleeping. Okay, continue. I sneak. No, I sneak. That's darkness and light. Huh? I sneak without a sound. What does it mean the word sneak? Look, the word sneak, it means I creep quietly, like when mommy is sleeping and you want to take something from mommy, but she's sleeping, so you are going to creep. No Arabic. Sneak is equal creep. Sneak is equal creep. I sneak, it means I creep, like this. Look. Tom is sneaking inside to take something from the house. So what is the synonym of the word sneaky, Yusuf? Creep. Creep. Creep, it means you walk silently, quietly, and Creep. you don't want anyone Creep. to listen you because you want to take something or you want to do something naughty without your mommy's permission. For example, if your mommy took your mobile phone, and she she hid the mobile phone and you want to take it so you are going to wait until mommy is sleeping and snoring then you are going to open the door and you are going to sneak inside mommy's room and you are going to take the so i creep and i steal you got the point guys you understand Yes. Okay. So I overturn the garbage can. Overturn the garbage can. Guys, look, this is our garbage can. Uh, what is this? Garbage can. What is this? Garbage can. The, the raccoon is going to overturn the garbage can. Yusuf, Hamza, Yomna. Overturn, it means. Flip. I overturn. Upside down. I overturn. It means I flip. Overturn. Flip. Overturn. You got the point? So the raccoon is going to overturn the garbage can. Ah, continue reading. What? A tree? I have found. The tree that I have found, it means wow. What did I find inside? Good. Oh, wow. You got the point? So he's going to overturn the garbage can because he wanted to find what? The trash. The trash or he wanted to eat food, right? So and I told you that the raccoon can eat anything. Okay. Yusuf, read paragraph number two. Uh, read. I grab. I grab the picnic. Picnic. 
sandwiches? Ah, uh, what does it mean the word grab? Marcelino, when you grab something, it means you took it quickly and strongly and without permission. For example, I, I grab, I snatch. Grab is equal, huh? Snatch. Wake up! Wake up! Again, what does it mean the word the grab? Snatch. Grab is equal? Snatch. I'm going to show you how the thief is going to grab the bag. Look, what is the thief doing? Snatch. Snatch or grab. Snatch or grab. Great job. So to grab something, it means you snatch it. You take it quickly without permission. And is that good? No. Is that good, you know? No. no. Great job. Continue reading, Yusuf. I grab the bacon sandwich. I what is the picnic, Yusuf? Picnic means food we eat outdoors. It means, yeah, Marcelino, when you have a feast or when there is a Eid, we take food to the garden, like in Shaman Nassim. We take salted fish, which is, which is fisikh and ringa, right? And we go to the club or the, to the garden and we have a picnic. So what is the picnic? The picnic is food that we eat outdoors. Picnic is food that we can eat outside our house in the garden or in the park. You got the point? So this is the picnic. So the raccoon is going to snatch the picnic sandwich and he's going to take the sandwich to the brook. What does it mean the word the brook? This is the brook. It means like a small waterway, a creek. Brook is equal creek. Brook equal creek. It means a small waterway, like a small stream. And look and read. And wash it quickly. Squeaky. Squeaky clean. And I'm going to take the sandwich and wash it squeaky clean. When I say something is squeaky, it means very clean, shining. Your mommy take the mug and she's going to wash the mug <coughs> until the mug is shining, squeaky, clean. You got the point? Yes. Is it clean or dirty? Clean. Clean. So we can call it wow. My mug or my glass is squeaky clean. It means shining. It means very clean. You got the point? You may point. Super excellent. Continue. I want read. Paragraph number three. I agree. Guys, look. This is paragraph number one. Paragraph number two. We are here in paragraph number three. I creep. Camp. This is the campers tent. It's a tent that we take it to the jungle or we take it to the desert Yusuf, and we go camping and we sleep in a tent. So this is called what Marcelino? Tent. This is called tent. tent. So he's going to creep to the campers tent and the camper didn't see him. People didn't see raccoon and he's going to snatch, grab, hot dog. Do you know hot dog? Yeah. Yeah. He's going to snatch the hot dog and the campers are going to yell. Ah! Thief! Look, the raccoon took our food. Ah! Yell, it means shout or scream. Like mommy is yelling all the night. Marcelino, what is your homework? Ah! Right? So yeah. your mom is yelling or shouting or screaming all day long because you are naughty. Right? Are you naughty at home? You are not naughty? Okay. So, read. Uh, sorry, you. Read. And. And. 
snatch. Bun. And we snatch. Clap. Okay? A hot dog bun. The campers. Yell. They. They. No. Scream. Okay? Ha! Look! But. But. I am having fun. The campers are yelling and the raccoon is having fun. Ha 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 ha. It's going to eat their food. They are yelling. Yusuf, Hamza, and the raccoon is having fun. The raccoon is happy. Why? Because he stole their food. food right? Okay. I want a girl. Could you read paragraph number four? A mask. A mask of gold. My eyes. No, a mask of fur around my eyes. What is the meaning of the word fur? Do you know? Okay. Do you know, know what is fur? This is the fur you look. What is fur? Hair. Animal's hair. What is fair? Animal's, Animal's hair. hair. So he's going to say, the raccoon says, or this passage is saying that the raccoon has a mask of fur around his eyes. You got the point? So any animal or some of the animals are covered with fur. And we are covered with fur. We have fur or hair. Yeah. Uh, and we are covered with the skin. We have skin. They don't have skin. They are covered with hair. Yeah. Great job. Okay. Continue reading. A mask of fur. A mask of fur around my eyes. Upon my face. Upon my face. My paws. What did I say? Paw means animals. Huh? Animal. Feet. Feet. What are the paws? Animal feet. So my paws can open the garbage can. Look, look, look. No. My paws can open the garbage can. You got the point? Huh? Continue. I move. I move with the steels and grace. Like this, I am proud. Ha. Mm. Ha. I am the raccoon. I am very strong. I steal food. I make people yell and shout. I eat everything. I am the best one. You got the point? Okay, I want you to read paragraph number five. I steal. I steal from people's garden. 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 Plus, yes. he, he goes to the gardens of the people and steal their food from porches and from decks. Yes, I am a fearless bandit. What does it mean, the word fearless? Brave. brave. Fearless, it means I am brave. brave. I'm not afraid. And the antonym is... <laughs> Coward. So if I am, if I am brave, I say I am fearless. And if I am afraid, if I am afraid of anything, so I'm going to say, what is the antonym of brave? Coward. Coward. What is the antonym of brave? Coward. Coward, Coward means <laughs> I am afraid of anything. So the raccoon is coward or fearless? Uh, fearless. Great job. Fearless. Fearless, it means brave. It means brave. brave. I'm not afraid of anything. So now we are going to read it again. You understand all the words or all the words about the raccoon? Yes. Okay. So now we are going to read it again and we are going to discuss how we can 
for the questions regarding Raku. Thank you so much.